Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're talking about my luxury beauty favorites from August. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As you may know, I have my online beauty consulting service. This is a one-on-one -on -one video chat with me where you get to pick my brain about beauty. So if you've recently picked up some makeup and you need a little bit of guidance, putting it all together with the collection you already own, go ahead and book a session right now. So I would say my favorite thing from the month of August is actually not a beauty item and it actually happened the first week of September but it's my channel and I can do what I want. I went to a Backstreet Boys concert and it was amazing. Backstreet Boys were my boy band of choice growing up. They were the band that I chose to scream my puberty at on screen when their music videos would play, quit playing games with my heart, stole my uh, preteen heart very quickly. I saw an ad somewhere online that they were playing at the Bell Center, so I was able to get a ticket last minute. I was a bit in the nosebleed section, but you know what, it was better than nothing. Fun fact, when the Backstreet Boys came out in the 90s, uh, there are five members, and at the time, Kevin was the older one. Now, they are all the older one, including me. Everyone at the concert was in their 30s and 40s, and some of the people there were there with their kids. It was a great moment. I loved it. My favorite Backstreet Boys were Kevin and AJ, and they still are. Anyway, I had to share that because I felt like it. <laughs> anyway, let's get to actual makeup. So for the month of August, we had a lot of makeup. Um, the first one that came to mind for me as a favorite is what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. And this is Chanel. This is the fall palette. This is number 58 intensity. It is just such a beautiful rose gold purpley palette. It's very versatile. I've created so many looks with this palette everyday dramatic looks, some like smoky 90s looks, a bit of everything. For today's look, I used the two matte colors and then I went into the gold color just on the lid here. I just think it's a great palette. Uh, I have been using the tweeds a whole lot, but this number 58 here, I think is a gorgeous color or gorgeous palette. It's great for fall. I don't know, it's just really pretty. And sometimes I go into more of like this taupey silvery shade but i think going into the gold color just emphasizes an entire new look and an eyeliner that i have used so much the last month in conjunction with this palette here is the chanel waterproof liner 36 prune intense it's intense prune if you want to translate it it's just a very dark intense pruney plum color but it's not too vibrant like it's not too bold or flashy it's just a really really great accompaniment with this color story so if you have this or any other purple palettes from chanel or anyone else even the chanel purple tweed palette you could wear with this any sort of purpley leaning shade goes lovely with this and it's just been indispensable i've been i use like a thin line up here a little bit on the bottom very easy very simple I love it. Next up would be three lipsticks that I got from Chanel. Again, it was very confusing because this was part of like the fall release here in Canada. There was so much delay and back and forth. I talked to you guys nonstop about this for weeks in the States because this finally came out but like delayed 
I don't know why, I have no idea. But for us in Canada, we got this all at the same time as the fall collection. And so it's almost like the tweeds are like fall 2.0 for whatever reason. Uh, but this is the Rouge Allure. It's the classic bullet lipstick. I'm wearing on my lips 196 a demi mot. I also have 198 Nuance and 211 Subtle. This is just a classic bullet lipstick and it's Chanel, so it has this amazing click here. It's very satiny. It's also quite long wearing. It's not a tattoo by any means, but it will withstand some eating and drinking and it will stain the lips a little bit, but this satiny hydrating finish is very nice. So it's just a very classic bullet and the entire lipstick collection for the fall release, I love the color story because it's so, 90s neutral the inspiration is like it's skin tone but every skin tone so every skin tone has their lip but better in this collection you can play around with it and go with your lip but better or something deeper and darker or something lighter there's just it's just like the the perfect 90s supermodel neutral glam that's the vibe that i get from the collection for the lipsticks so i'm very happy and then in conjunction with the lipsticks, there is the 90s dark neutral nail polish series as well. Today I am wearing 947 Désir. It is a super dark red wine. It's a beautiful manicure. Unfortunately, I have a little chip on this finger here and because it's so dark, it's so obvious, so I have to change it. But it holds up nicely a solid week of wear. It is much deeper than Rouge Noir. It's more brown, it's deeper, it's richer, but if you want a dark, moody nail polish for the fall and winter, that's not quite black, but very dark. This one I love. I also have 945 Emotion. This one goes so nicely with my eyeshadow and my lipstick as well. This entire collection, like the lipsticks and the nail polish, if you want to, you can sort of match your nail polish to your lipstick if you feel like being extra, which uh, trust me, I understand. I love this one as well. And also we have 957 Impulsion. This is like a gorgeous milk chocolate. It's very dark, but obviously not as dark as this one here, but just beautiful neutrals, a glossy finish with like a gorgeous top coat. Just really great colors. I love this series, I love nail polish, and I love Chanel, so it was a great match. And then when I was in Chicago in August, I also decided to pick up a blush. This is a regular item, it's not limited edition. This is number 68, Rose Ecrin. It's the blush that I'm wearing today. It's just a little bit of pink, not too pink, not too orange, not too coral, just like this color here just adds a little bit of flesh, it awakens your complexion, just makes you look refreshed and beautiful. It's kind of one of those um, blushes, again, it's 68. It's one of those blushes that's very versatile. It goes with a lot of different looks, so I've been kind of using it nonstop because sometimes I just can't be bothered to coordinate different things together where I know I can just wear this one with multiple different looks. Moving on to Guerlain, I picked up their new eyeshadow palette. So they have a new series of eyeshadow palettes for the brand, which I'm very happy about, very excited, because as far as I've been a fan of Guerlain for a few years, I haven't really seen that many eyeshadows from them, but they have a new collection out. It looks like a bar of gold here. It's very smudgy because I've been enjoying it. And I got the palette 360 Mystic Peacock. I love a blue eyeshadow, and this palette here I think is really lovely. There are several other shades to choose from. This is permanent, it's not limited edition, it's just a new launch for the brand, and they released several other palettes. I went with blue first off, of course, because that's just my um, proclivity. And I really enjoy it. I love this like bright cobalt blue over here. I like these finishes too. This one here is almost more aqua turquoise. It's definitely a different hue of blue, almost more green. I did a tutorial with this palette here and I showed two different looks, one like more intense, one a bit more like a smoky with this topper shade here. It's just a great palette. I like it. I'm very happy to see 
eyeshadows from Guerlain because I haven't seen them before. I know they did them in the past, but this was like before my time at Guerlain. So I'm just very happy to see this. I'm happy to see more color from the brand because Violette FR is their new creative director. So she's infusing more color there and I'm very happy to see that. I'm also interested in trying more palettes from Guerlain. So let me know in the comments which ones from Guerlain did you get? Because I know some of you did get the blue, but some of you got more of the neutral shades as well. So I'd like to hear from you. I know there's like a classic smoky one. I think there's also a purple one. So leave a comment down below. So I also had a new favorite last month that really took me by surprise and by shock. And this is from Bare Minerals. This is the Bare Pro 16 hour skin perfecting powder foundation. This is the shade Light 25 Neutral. And the most shocking part about this is that this is a velvety matte finish powder foundation. That is like, if you told me that I would enjoy this, I would not believe you at all, but somehow it works. It is so blurring. It's like a blurring veil of powder, but it's foundation. And you can apply it with a sponge or with a brush. I think I prefer the brush because it's a bit lighter in coverage. It's like a medium to full coverage. It's shocking. Like none of those sound like things that I would enjoy. And yet I do. If you want instant blurring and instant coverage at the same time, that's more mattifying. So if you want something for the warm summer months, if you have oily skin, but even then this is meant for like normal to dry skin and I have dry skin and somehow it works. Like I'm shocked. I am so shocked. I never thought in a million years that I would enjoy this. I did a full review wear test. It held up really nicely and I was just as shocked in the review and wear test because it was like, this makes no sense. It makes no sense, but it's really great. It's it's a really nice foundation. Something else I picked up when I was in Chicago is one of these Dior eyeshadow singles. So this one here is number 658. It's called Beige Mitza Metallic Finish. Apparently this has replaced Cosmopolite, Cosmopolite. I never tried the original, but I have been wearing this one here. It is so beautiful. It really does have a metallic finish. It's very high shine, but it is so gorgeous because depending on the light, it kind of catches more taupey, more gray, more brown. It also depends on your skin tone on different people. It just reflects light differently, but this is a magnificent one and done because it looks like multiple different eyeshadows. So you can go ahead and just apply this really nicely, a little bit of liner, mascara, out the door. It's really pretty. I haven't owned it for that long, but as you can see, I've really been enjoying it in the few short weeks that I've owned it. So I'm really interested in trying more eyeshadows from Dior, especially their singles, because they just make great quality eyeshadows and sometimes a single is just so easy to use. Okay, last but not least, we have a sunscreen section of the video because I have a few, few products that I wanna mention and the first one actually is a fail. So again, I tried this when I was in Chicago because I wanted something easy for travel, not too many liquids, etc. This is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios XL 60 SPF and this is a stick, founda a stick foundation, no, a stick sunscreen. So this, you just twist up like this and then you just you know, rub it on your face and it, it's clear. There's no color to it. It looks white, but there actually is no white cast or anything like that. I used it, I mean, I've used quite a bit of it for a few weeks. The problem is this broke me out so bad, like on my chin, so many breakouts. It took me a while to figure out what it was because sometimes your skin doesn't react to something it, like right away but I kept using it and it kept getting breakouts and I kept using it and then I just decided to stop using it and the breakouts went away. So unfortunately, this one is a bust for me. I really wanted to love it because it's so convenient to have a stick, especially if you're not wearing makeup, you can just like reapply very easily. But I guess I could try to use it, but just not on my chin because that's where it broke me out. So that's a no merci for me. So after that happened, I just decided to go back to my old faithful for my face sunscreen. And this is the Kiehl's Super Fluid UV Defense SPF 50. So this is a face sunscreen. 
I use it for my face and neck basically. It is super fluid as it describes. It's very, very runny, very liquidy. And so you can wear this underneath makeup. I'm wearing a full face of makeup. I'm wearing this over top. There is no rolling, no pilling. And because it's so runny, it doesn't give you like a white cast. So even if you're much uh, deeper skin tone than me, I think you'll be fine. I don't think you'll have like an ashy gray look, but it's just a great face sunscreen. They have different sizes. This one here is the 125 ml. I tend to go for the larger bottle because I've tried it so many times. I know I love it. It does not break me out. It doesn't break up my foundation. I can wear makeup with it. It's perfectly fine. You cannot reapply over top of makeup clearly, but it's a great sunscreen. It's wonderful. I haven't tried a million things from Kiehl's, but their sunscreen is really great. However, speaking of applying sunscreen over top of makeup, because apparently, technically, in order to get real sun protection, we are meant to reapply sunscreen every two hours. Listen, some of us have full-time jobs and we can't just reapply sunscreen all day, every day, especially when we're wearing this. However, there is powder sunscreen and I have been wearing this all summer. I know, I've been very good. I've actually been reapplying sunscreen over top of my makeup. This is the IS Clinical Perfect Tint Powder SPF 40. So this one actually has a shade here. Let me see if I can find the box because I don't remember what color this is. So when you purchase this, you get the full size product here. So it has a little twist. You open it like this, then you have your brush, and this is where you apply it. Now, when you purchase this, you actually get a refill of the sunscreen. And this is what the refill looks like. This is the sunscreen. So it's not makeup, it's a sunscreen. However, they have different tints. Mine is beige. This is the beige. Well, I'll actually go ahead and apply it. So when you have this, you can put this in your purse, in your bag, it's very small. So you just have it here. You open it up, then you go like this, and you can sort of see some of the sunscreen coming out here. That's when you know it's ready. Then you just go ahead and sweep this. All over your makeup. And my makeup looks the same. Nothing is smudged, nothing is ruined. You can apply this over your blush. It doesn't really matter. You can just reapply your sunscreen on the go over top of your makeup. It's perfect. I still have a little bit of the sunscreen left, even though I've been using it every day for the summer, but I'm nearing the end here. So I probably will use the refill very soon, but it's great. It doesn't break down the makeup. It doesn't change anything. So if you're someone who's active like me and who goes outside a lot, but you want some sun protection, I really would recommend the IS Clinical Powder Sunscreen. And I think there's like five or six shades. Again, I'm the shade beige. There is a little bit of color to it, not a lot, but again, like it's not makeup, it's sunscreen with a tint. So if you're unsure of the shade, it's not that big of a deal because it's not like a face powder, you know, it's just like a little tint. I guess it's just to make sure it's not like a white sunscreen when you're applying it. But anyway, I think that is it for today's video. These are my favorites from the month of August. I had a very sobering moment. There are four months left of the year. I know, isn't that crazy? Anyway, time is going by so fast. So these are my favorites from the month. Let me know what you think. Let me know what were some of your favorites from the month. Let me know if you've ever tried these powder sunscreens. This is new to me. I think I've tried different brands before and sometimes they feel kind of chalky or dry or grainy. This doesn't, it feels really nice. It's, it's expensive, but honestly it's worth it because some of the ones I've tried before, I never stuck to it because it felt like I could feel like a grainy powder on me, whereas this feels like nothing. So that's why I'm, I'm using it and reusing it so it's worth the money anyway if you're new to my channel i hope you take the time to subscribe and make sure your notifications are on so you can get notified when i post a video i talk about a lot of luxury beauty 
a lot of luxury makeup and I like to reuse my makeup a lot and give you more creative ideas on how to use up what you already own and I think that might interest you. But anyway, I think that's all I have for you guys for today. So thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.